Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be one of the most requested videos, and that's what's in my backpack for my term two examination. So many people have been asking me, and as I had even made this. version for my term one exam and many people liked it so much so i thought to come up with a new one and updated one for term 2 exam so my term 2 exam starts tomorrow and you guys i'm so super excited so yeah now without further ado let's get right into the video so guys just like my term one examination i will be carrying this bag itself so this is my yellow bag from decathlon and i love this bag as the size is perfect for carrying to you know these small areas So I'll quickly show you all what all I have inside it. So first, let's start with the most important thing. That's a water bottle. So I am carrying this a uh, transparent water bottle because they do not allow opaque bottles, and that's strictly prohibited. Everything you carry should be transparent. So this is the water bottle I'm carrying. I don't know how many liters. It's I guess almost a one liter water bottle because it's quite sunny and you easily get dehydrated. You must have a good stock of water. and after that i'll come first come to the front chain so in the front chain i have two things first is an extra mask so extra mask because you guys covid is again rising so i don't know why but covid always comes during exam so there is some sort of connection i'm telling you guys there is surely some connection but yeah we need an extra mask cuz um i wear surgical mask only and they sometimes tend to break so that's why i have this separate mask and few tissues just in case i anyhow need them i don't think i use them but you know that's you should just have such stuff and now moving on to the main chain so first and the foremost thing is a writing pad so this is a transparent writing pad this is the same one which i used for my term one examination you cannot use opaque stuff so that's why a transparent writing pad only and it's not really necessary to have a writing pad but as this exam is subjective so writing directly on a paper is not that easy for me so i generally prefer to take a writing pad because you know we have a base to write on so that's why i have a writing pad and then after that i have this transparent pouch transparent folder and this folder has my admit card i'm obviously not going to show you guys my admit card but yeah this has my admit card in it and my admit card is also laminated as i had already told you guys before get your admit card laminated because it is very very important so yeah this folder has that and after that the last thing which i have and the most important thing is this and that's the pouch and the pouch should also be transparent opaque things nothing opaque would work here except your body so you better take everything that's transparent and this pouch has many things so i'll quickly give you guys a detailed what's in my pouch right now so first we have this pen i don't know what company pen this is but this is a black gel pen i got this from mr diy and after that i have a mechanical pencil this is the camlin click pro mechanical pencil which is in 0.7 mm yeah and after that i have the refill for that pencil because a pencil without lids is unusable so you obviously need a refill and then i have this black pen i used this black pen in my term 1 exam as well so this is a ball black pen and this time in term 2 we don't have any restrictions regarding what pen you can use it's only that you should use blue pens but i'm taking black pen in just in case i need to underline something or i need to make a box around something you know just for those stuff and this is the main pen which i'm going to write with i don't know why is not focusing yeah this is the pen which i'm going to use to write my whole entire examination this is a blue gel pen from classmate octane gel this is the classmate octane gel in blue color and for me this pen works very well so i like to prefer this pen over any other and after that it's the compass this is useful for your math exam and i am going to carry it like this and you might be wondering that why do i have a broken pencil that's because you should generally carry small pencils on your compass because if you have a long pencil it's really difficult you know to draw a circle so that's why i have a broken pencil on this compass and this is actually the classmate compass it is we have this set right the classmate asteroid set of 
geometry box so don't take a geometry box because that's opaque so you need to take everything in your transparent pouch and after that i have this this is a protractor that's also from classmate and then i have a scale which is the camlin 15 centimeter scale and 15 centimeter because you know just for making a few diagrams you need 15 centimeters more than enough and I have this pencil, a spare pencil because we never know what happens to a mechanical pencil so I have this one, this is an HB pencil and yeah I have an eraser, my eraser is horrible so I'm not gonna show you guys that, I am not good at maintaining erasers and after that I'll be taking this, so this is the very good 30 centimeter scale and this is quite necessary to make margins because making margins with that 15 centimeter scale is a tedious job and you know it's better to take a longer scale so I'll be keeping this in my bag as well so that's all that I have in my bag and all these things obviously won't really go in your examination hall because they generally don't allow to take your bag inside the school or the center which is there so yeah and then obviously you need a hand sanitizer this is actually a body mist bottle and I refilled it with sanitizer because it's a nice spray bottle so it works well. And yeah, so as I was saying that they don't really allow this whole entire bag to go inside your school or the center which you're going to. So what I'll do is I'll take this um, transparent folder with me and I'll put my pouch in this itself. Then I'll put my sanitizer in this only and then I'll take my writing pad separately so that you know all things everything is in one place and it's quite easy to carry as well so I suggest you to take this transparent pouch as it is so so helpful and yeah that's all that I have in my backpack for my term 2 examination so I guess I'll end this video right here I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe turn on those post notifications and comment down below what your favorite part in my video was and wish you guys a very 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 all the best that you all will surely rock your tongue to examinations and yeah now i'll meet you guys in my next video till then stay safe and keep watching